What's up, guys? So, on this jokey third party transforming box thing that turns into other things review, we're taking a look at another new video from Potato Toys. I told you I had a lot of these things. So, this is the BB22, that's Beast Box 22. Stug is a, uh, and it is their Brachiosaurus creature. They're, it's the Boxiosaurus. <laughs> so, as usual, you get a color coded box with a nice like schematic drawing there of like the insides and stuff it's pretty cool and then you come back here you've got beastomodo and then boxomodo nice and you come to the back and you got the actual drawn out version of that so that looks good and then you've got made in china you've got back mode forward mode extra weapony thing and all your uh, stuff that's in other languages that i can't speak and you got number Number 30. Zero to three-year-olds will cry. This one does not have any sad Pac-Man on it. It's weird. Cautions on the bottom. Then you come around here and you got the nice filled out artwork. So when I said schematic, so it's actually the same drawing, but you see a lot more of the inner workings and stuff. I really do take that because it's the same as that. Now, I don't know what happened to the card, but I'm going to see if I can find it. So let's go ahead and go. All right, and so as usual, we start out in box mode in the box charger. And the instructions are here somewhere. But what I'm trying to do is get out the character card. So we can see that. And it actually looks like very Dino Rider-esque. And I dig that. So it looks like it even has like a holographic targeting system there. That's pretty sweet. Beast Box logo down here. BB-22, come back here. You got, you got a lot of defense. And strength, a little bit of courage, a little bit of speed, and some intelligence. And if you want to check out the actual read-up, by all means, pause it and do that. It's pretty cool. I like how they do, like, write-ups on the characters. Um, and it always, there's, like, a strange barcode thing there. So, I presumably, I wish this was, like, for some type of game. I have no clue. And like I said, the instructions are somewhere. But this guy is actually fairly easy to do. And I'm probably going to have to go get some more of the dinos out to do comparisons now that I just thought about it. Sometimes i got to think out loud in the middle of these reviews. So there he is in the box charger, and it comes out like that. And if you are on the Patreon, you already saw, hopefully, the out-the-box review for this guy. So when I first pulled it out, and you can see here in box mode, you got translucent bits here. you got B-H-A-S, whatever the heck that means. And then you got whatever that face is, some nice... Paint in there, just molded detail and arrow, more painted detail, some silver paint there. I love it when they bust out some silver paint. Looks pretty good. You got holes going on there, which way is up, technically speaking. Let's go with that. And then, of course, for size comparison, just, you know, there's a the D10 or Dio. And yes, I do know about the deluxe version or whatever they want to call that with the like ridiculous armor and stuff. So yeah, when I have the ability to get it, I'll get it. So all of you 52 Toy Beast Box fans out there who say, hey, hey, did you see this? Yes, I did see it. And yes, I probably ordered it, but I don't know when I'll get it. So let's get him transformed up. And to start, we want to pull up his little tail there. And that gives us the ability to free up the back legs. And you can also untuck his little secret weapon friend, the extra that they come with. And then you can untab this out and release the head, which brings you up here. And you need to flip these guys up a little bit and then rotate them sideways and then utilize those hinges and just kind of Bring these down to the sides. That allows you to bring the head up. And then you want to bring that up. And then rotate 180 degrees. And then you can just sort of do with this as you please. You know, there's, there's hinges and whatnot. So you can just utilize the head however you want to do. And then come down to the legs. You do have some super, super basic legs going on here. And then you want to slide those guys down. Up the tail got away from us here. And then, this is where I said, like, he's super, like, dino ridery, which is kind of cool. And then, okay, so we'll save that for later. That's that's not a now thingy, that's a later thingy. So there he is, in all his glory, and you can, like I said, manipulate 
that however you want. So there's our stargazer and his little like brachio body. And I will say the worst thing about it is the legs because they don't really do much. They're just kind of there. Back legs just sit flat. The front legs, while they have a little bit of a hinge to them, just sit flat. He's one of those ones that is super, super simple. He's actually very much like the uh, Raiden or the uh, the Hippo one, whatever that one was called. Actually, I still don't. Do I not? Have, I don't have one of those yet. Now that I realize it, those don't uh, stay in place super well. But come back to the tail. You do have the hinge there, along with an extra hinge up, so you can utilize his like tail weapons, which is pretty neat. Uh, you do have these things here, which are technically supposed to be like missile pods. You can see them right there. And I hate when they have like thin plastic and then translucent bits as well. That's really kind of annoying in my opinion. The neck does have a rotation joint there, which is awesome. You can pivot the head. You can utilize the neck however you want to do that. And of course, you can bring them down low 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 and i think you can open the mouth yeah you can you just gotta there you go you can't open the mouth you just gotta get a finger in there he has translucent eyes which is kind of cool because it's using his little crest as the light piping which is interesting to say the least like i said the legs are kind of meh and then he does have little secret hidden weapons here so if you want to you can push this up and you get these big old turrets that stick out. I don't believe they rotate. Oh, yeah, they do a little. But one problem I have is you can see here, when you push it in, the body wants to split. So it can only go so high. Um, it would be nice if those could pop out a bit more than that. And then you can utilize these a little, however you want to do them. I kind of just like to leave them out to the side effectively so you do have some extra big cannons and then he does have a what i believe is supposed to be a mosquito because you know dinosaur you know that they they had these secondary weapon hidden creatures a lot of them have it and there's a big peg there and you can mount that on the neck which is strange but you know it works uh you also have the holes down here on the legs if you're so inclined and then I think that like this was the the mechanism for the hidden weapons was such an afterthought because I mean just having this hang out the bottom to me is annoying. And I guess it can go up and then it tabs. So those will actually tab open. So but just having that just sort of hanging out looks so dumb in my opinion. Will this peg in back here? No. Okay, so I mean it is really heavily armed for which should be a very peaceful creature, but instead he just protects the force by blowing up everybody, or whatever the read-up said. So, he's fairly cool. So let's compare him to some of the other new ones we've looked at recently. Once again, these are... I wish these would lock down, like or if there's something to keep that really locked in place, to keep the hands, or the, the leg sections in check. So let's bring out Iron Claw. You can see major difference there. That's a gigantic crab. Scale is never super important. You know, he's talking about how big this guy is supposed to be, and he's only this big. And then bring out D10. You can see he's really not big in comparison, which is strange. And then Sharkira, who is super long in comparison. And I'll just bring them all out here. So it is with MoMA. Ghost Dog, Delta, so get more of the, like, dinosaur -y types out here. Technically, Ghost Dog is back there, so that's a very awesome set. And yes, I do know about the other one. That is the same mold, which is a plesiosaur. I do have it on order, so I will be getting that very shortly. Um, it's a cool mold. I just wish it was bigger, like... This guy is the smallest one that has ever existed, and he's barely bigger than that. And this guy's supposed to talk about dwarfing things in its shadow and stuff like that. And it's really not, really not that big in comparison. It's a very cool dino, 
especially with the fact that you can like really manipulate this tail which is nice i guess you can i wonder if you could store the, the weapon up under the tail i bet you can oh i didn't realize this is actually on a slider here so you can actually move it in and out a little bit you can have the tail down you know and put away all the weapons in theory you know put away all of the the guns disarm 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 i bet that will tuck right up under there won't it oh it looks like it does oh look at that i don't think it'll hide that way but you know it'll just do that number come on As usual, I don't like messing with translucent things, but it is what it is. I mean, translucent stuff is not like it was when I was a kid, where, you know, you really had to worry about it. Oh, okay. I see what I... I do see what I did there. That was stupid. Okay, let's turn this inward. Maybe it'll go better that way. I don't know. She just stop doing the same thing over and over. That way less insanity. So there he is in his less offensive mode, so to speak. And like the legs aren't posable, which annoys me because they just kind of go out and they're set in their exact ways. These all have posable legs. This one, they're just solid. So that's the one thing I really don't dig about it. But the mold itself is neat. Um, it does offer a new idea for certain things. Uh, a little more paint, like right here, add some silver, stuff like that would be cool. I'm sure they will give us this in some type of emergency vehicle or emergency services uh, division. I'm sure of it. I have no idea what it'll be. It's interesting they call it Stargazer. Like, I like to look at the stars, even though it's a very terrestrial object, so to speak. I'll get all these out of the way so I can get a good picture of it later. But it's a good one. If you're into these dinosaurs that turn into other robots or turn into boxes, by all means, go get it. I picked this guy up at um, at the Chosen Prime, but BVTS does have them in stock, I believe, now. So go get them. Actually, this one might have been BVTS. I don't remember, to be totally honest. Like, I got a bunch of them all at once, some from BVTS, some from the Chosen Prime. Offhand, I don't recall which one I got it. Either way, you can get from either. So go check it out. Go get uh, your new fun dinosaur robot friend as you like it. It's kind of a dino bot, or in reality, a dino box. Hehe, <laughs> yeah, I went there. Oh, okay, so when you do this, you can kick the guns up and shoot him in the back of his own head, which is probably a bad plan. There's no pivot there for the gun, so you just kind of have to duck. So he just doesn't shoot himself. <laughs> but either way, guys, uh, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below. So far, of all the ones we've looked at recently, what is your favorite? Because we've looked at quite a lot. Um, and if you have these, you know, let me know. I've seen uh, at least one dude in the Discord who is all about it and has been picking them up almost as fast as I have. And uh, he actually has the, uh, the Plesiosaur one. So... Let me know what you think. I think it should be a little bit more complex. You should get a little bit more out of the legs. And I think it's silly that you can't. But if you really want to get a very tired bot, you can do that. Boom. I give up. So, but I'll catch you guys next time. Remember, as always, to keep on nerding.